to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tierra. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. What's good, Ray Gang, and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Des, and today we're gonna get into another weekly vlog. Today is Monday, and it's super, super shiny outside. The sun is out. Looks like it's gonna be a nice day. I think the weather is like in the 60s right now, which is not too bad for Houston, but it could be a little bit warmer. <laughs> but, <coughs> excuse me. I'm a little under the weather. I just got back from DC last night. We had an amazing time celebrating one of my best friend's birthday. Um, Tierra, if you're watching, I love you. I love you bad. You already know how I'm coming about you. Okay, so yeah, um, some of my childhood best friends, we all flew in and we celebrated her 30th year of life, um, which is just like a crazy milestone. And I'm not gonna get emotional because I got emotional when I was there, but it's just really crazy reflecting on how much we've been through like together as friends and just seeing each other grow and develop. Like my best friend, she's now a mother. Um, she is soon to be married. Um, it's just, it's crazy. Life is really insane. So it's just, it's a full circle moment. Like being friends with these girls at the age of 11 12 years old to now being 30 like it's crazy um we've laughed together we've cried together we have celebrated together um i mean been through death together just so many different things that i'm just like what the hell how did we get here actually uh since i brought that up i did want to open up so tiara being tiara um, if you guys know her in real life, she is like the most thoughtful person. So obviously we got her gifts for her birthday. And then she like turned around and like gave us little like things. Uh, she gave us like this butterfly thing. It's like a seed. Basically you could plant it and it'll turn into um, a plant. It's insane. Um, she gave us this card that was uh, geared around the mustard seed. If you know about the complex about the mustard seed then you know, very thought out. And then she also gave us individual cards and I wanna read mine, I have not opened it yet. 
So let's get this on camera, hold on. <laughs> My dear Des, you have no idea how much you mean to me and how grateful I am to call you a friend. It's hard to find loving, trusting friendships that are genuine, pure, and last a lifetime, yet I found you. What a pure and tender heart you have, what a light you are. Always remember you are a child of God, stand up straight. Glory is all around you. God is, God is slash will use you to reach so many. I love you. I love you, girl. I love you, girl. So sweet. So sweet. Um, so, yeah. Just a beautiful card. And I'm just so grateful. Just so grateful for long-lasting friendships because I know it's hard to come by, especially in this current climate. Before we get the day started, I, as you could tell, I'm about to head to the gym. Okay? Yadi, yadi, yadi. Y'all. L'Occitane. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Let's Google this, because I Googled it the other day and I've already forgot how to pronounce L'Occitane. I think it's L'Occitane. Welcome to L'Occitane. Welcome to L'Occitane. This is a little bad. I think it's Lakatane. Lakatane. It's actually La Si Ta. Okay. La Si Ta. La Si Ta. Whoever's in charge of they they PR they. <laughs> I love you. I got four big old boxes over there. Um, some that got lost were sent to my old address. Some that are sent here, and I just want to get into it. So let's get into it. So basically the reason why I even like want to shout this team out is because I have not posted a single unboxing, single like shout out to them because honestly I've been getting these in spurts and I've been so busy and I need to do better. But they have continued, continued to send me PR and I'm just so grateful. And this is not no baby PR. This is like full size products. Like shout out to the L'Occitane uh, PR team, marketing team, everything. I love y'all bad, and I love y'all's products bad. So, yeah. So, this is the very first box that I received um, that was stuck at my old apartment. So, it looks like such. And we're going to open her up. Their packaging also, L'Occitane, if you're watching, Y'all need to start giving uh, tips to these other brands because y'all's packaging is A1, chef's kills. So you open it up and right here it says, L'Occitane is all about the province that we love, a land full of mystery where beauty is endlessly reinvented. Cute. Cute. <gasps> Not the government name. <laughs> Hi, Adeswa. Hope all is well. We wanted to send you along some of our fan faves to enjoy. These well-loved Provençal products come from the south of France and offer a truly sensorial <clears throat> escape all year long. We can't wait to hear what you think. XO L'Occitane. So beautiful. And we love a personalized no, period. I know that's right. I've heard so much about this hand cream. And these are full-size products, y'all. So they sent me, this is their Creme Mons Dry Skin Hand Cream. And I love a good hand cream. Oh, this is the big boy too. Uh-oh, hold on. Yo, yo. I heard this is good. Oh yes. We're gonna squeeze from the bottom. Are y'all kidding? Look at the thickness. Oh no, she's, oh God, she's thick. She's thick. Oh yeah, and a little goes a long way. Love. Mm, and it has a very fresh, clean smell, like scent. I hate when stuff is a little too strong. 
I mean, it depends on the occasion, but this is good for like just an everyday. It smells like very fresh and powdery. Oh, L'Occitane, you guys ate this up. I've heard so many good things about this hand cream too. They sent this Immortal, Chow, Immortal, Pressy. Is this in English or, I think this is in French, y'all. It's in French. Oh, okay. <laughs> Proactive youth skincare, enriched emulsion. Pour, it uh, helps with pores, fine lines, and plumpless, pump, whoa, plumpness. Goodness gracious. Y'all, I've been on a skincare kick lately. If you watched the last vlog, then you know. Oh, the packaging, I can't. What? Are we serious? Glass. No. 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 Bye. Ooh, that hand cream smells so good. This is the Overnight Reset Oil oil in Serum. Fresher complexion, hydrate skin, soothes tightness, soothe tightness, revitalized skin, fine lines and tension lines look softer, youthful radiance, skin looks transformed. Wow. Let's see the packaging on this, John, too. Okay, you're absolutely joking. What? This is beautiful. Oh, I do not deserve. <laughs> and then I've heard so, 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 so many things about the infamous shower oil. I mean, I can't wait to use this today. Beautiful. Thank you, L'Occitane. So I'm gonna have to re-unbox this for TikTok. <laughs> but gorgeous. This was the second one that I got, and this was around Christmas. Uh, I was out of town, but this is the card that was in here. Happy holidays from the team at L'Occitane. Some serious self-care awaits with these iconic gift sets featuring fan favorites across every category. A hint, these are perfect for anyone on your list, yourself included. We are so grateful that you are part of the L'Occitane community and hope that this holiday season is a happy one. Love, L'Occitane. I mean, like, they're just so thoughtful. You're kidding? You're joking, actually. And so apparently there's just like a bunch of like little sets in here. Oh, okay, y'all, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to head to my TikTok for this one. Cause this one, I, I can show y'all at least this, this guy. Oh, this is perfect. So this is a, the mini of that hand cream. And then this is a lip balm, which I think I'm keeping this for myself. I'll show y'all these other two, but there's an, a big one in here. Oh, look. Oh, they have other hand creams with like different scents. Stop it. Stop it. Head over to my TikTok to see the rest. <laughs> this showed up about a couple weeks ago, like two weeks ago. It is their new it says visibly detoxify and redefine with the power of L'Occitane's artichoke body routine. We love that. <laughs> so then you lift. Massage your way to visibly firmer, more sculpted skin with the soothing benefits of our latest body care li line infused with antioxidant rich artichoke leaf abstract. Extract, Jesus. Step one, smooth and exfoliate with the artichoke body scrub on dry skin pre-shower. Step two, firm and redefine with artichoke body cream. Push your benefits even further by adding our new gua sha. What? To your massage routine. When used all together, the new artichoke body routine can help to firm your figure's appearance while enhancing your body contours. Okay, this is gorgeous, like gorgina. So here's the scrub. Oh, we love a body scrub too. Ooh. The packaging, once again, this is sturdy. Like nobody is seeing L'Occitane on the packaging, I'm sorry. Okay, let's get her open. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? No, you're joking. Oh, I love that they do this though for hygiene purposes. I'm gonna have to peel that back. I'm saving that for TikTok. So if you wanna see the consistency, head over to my TikTok. So this is one. Full size products, y'all. Like this is 6.9 ounces. And then here's the cream. It's probably sealed as well. Yes, it is. But I love that. Head over to my TikTok to see the texture. 
This is really different and this is really cool. A body gua sha. This is the first PR that I've gotten that's like beyond just the product, like something else comes with it um, from any brand. Ooh, no, they ate up with this one. They ate up with this one. Are you kidding? With the logo, the branding? <gasps> okay. This might just be my new favorite brand. I'm not joking. The attention, the detail. Like, I always said if I had a brand, like, I would not play about detail. I feel like detail is so important. And it shows how much you value your brand and how, like, the feeling that you want to come across to the consumer. And L'Occitane just gets it. This is gorgeous, beautiful, stunning. Never done before, revolutionary. <laughs> and then the most recent box that I got. It's a mini. It's a mini one. With love from Province. The ultimate pampering routine featuring iconic Shea favorites like our viral Shea butter hand cream. An evening of self-care awaits. Period. Yes, yes meow. So we have another of the viral hand cream, but now they gave me the body cream too. And then a cuticle oil, what? And then this thing, it's like the key, and apparently you put it at the end of the body cream um, and like roll it up so you can get every single drop out. You know when people used to put these like at the end of like toothpaste to get every single drop? It's like the same concept. Yeah, see? Thank you so much, Latitan. Y'all are too much. Y'all are too good to me. Too, too, too good to me. I'm so grateful. So grateful. Thank you so much. I need to post more online um, in regards to all the PR that I get, but specifically L'Occitane because y'all are eating up. Y'all are eating the girls up single-handedly. Okay, y'all. So before I leave, I want to, this is going to be our little like Bible corner. Jesus corner, okay? Um, so I'm sitting at my desk and I was about to, uh, I already have read um, the scripture of the day using the YouVersion app or like the Holy Bible app. I actually was watching um, Kenna's video, McKenna, McKenna um, Walker. <laughs> I was watching her YouTube video recently and she was talking about um, kind of going through like how she uh does like her daily like morning like scripture and i was like oh my god like i kind of forgot so i used to do this i used to use my bible app every day and like would just read the scripture of the day listen to the you know read the devotional listen to the like the little guided um visual of it and then i would start my day uh but i kind of got away from that since i started reading my bible daily um which is this bible i'll have her link down below it's like a guided one um that has like daily devotionals i love this bible bad okay ever since i picked her up i've kind of gotten away from my bible app but she kind of reminded me how good it feels just to have like a different scripture every day and like you know just kind of go through so i'm going to be using the soap method today if you guys have not heard about the soap method it's very helpful basically each letter in the word soap stands for something so s is going to be scripture o is going to be observation a is going to be application and p is going to be prayer let's kind of go through how I would use today's word and then we'll go from there. And sorry, the light, the, the sun is shining. The tank is clean. Let me pull her down just a little bit so it's not so blinding for me. Today's scripture is Romans chapter 12, verse 10. Be devoted to tenderly loving your fellow believers as members of one family. Try to outdo yourselves in respect and honor of one another. That would be the scripture. So that's going to be the S part. I have my like journal. Um, on each day that I write in my journal, I will always date the top of the page. So today is February 12th, 2024. And then I will always write the scripture that I'm referring to. So in this case, this is going to be Romans chapter 12, verse 10. So now I'm going to put soap on the um paper be devoted 
to tenderly loving your fellow believers as members of one family. Try to outdo yourselves in respect and honor of one another. So that's gonna be our S, okay? And honestly, um, before we continue, I actually, just because I'm curious and I wanna see where the context of this is, I'm going to use my Bible um, and I'm gonna find that scripture. So we're gonna skip to Romans. So the book of Romans is the longest and most elaborate of Paul's letter. Paul presents the case for the gospel by writing about humanity's relationship to God. Once he established, establishes the basic concept that all human beings are violators of God's holy law, Paul offers the solution, the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Those who believe in Jesus Christ receive forgiveness for sin and gain new life in the Holy Spirit. Paul also gives practical applications of redemption through Jesus Christ. Build your faith on the deep truths from Paul's presentation of the gospel to the Roman believers. Okay, so it says, because of the privilege and authority God has given me, I give, I give each of you this warning. Don't think you are better than, than you really are. Be honest in your evaluation of yourselves, measuring yourselves by the faith God has given us. Just as our bodies have many parts and each part has a special, special function, so it is with Christ's body. We are many parts of one body and we all belong to each other. In this grace, God has given us different gifts for doing certain things well. So if God has given you the ability to prophecy, speak out with as much faith as God has given you. If your gift is serving others, serve them well. If you are a teacher, teach well. If your gift is to encourage others, be encouraging. If it is giving, give generously. If God has given you leadership ability, take the responsibility seriously. And if you have a gift for showing kindness to others, do it gladly. Don't just pretend to love others, really love them. Hate what is wrong, hold tightly to what is good. Love each other with genuine affection and take delight in honoring each other. So for me, it's just very useful to find the specific scripture in the Bible so I can kind of have like the context, like why are they speaking on this specifically? Like what was this in, into, you know, in reference to? Um, so that was basically Paul's words to us on how we can um, serve the Lord, basically. Next O will be observation. So observation is going to be, what truth can you learn? Are there any warnings, principles, commands? What is the overall message of the verse? So um, I'm going to just take a second. I mean, what I will explain to y'all before I write it, it down. Basically, observation to me of this verse, this verse being, be devoted to tenderly loving your fellow believers as members of one family. Try to outdo yourselves in respect and honor of one another. Um, you know, do unto others as you would want them to do unto you um, and do unto others as you want them to do unto you, regardless if they actually do or not. Basically, I feel like this verse is just saying, like, just be a good person through and through. Treat others with respect, treat others with kindness, um, no matter what the end result may be. I think that um, a lot of us kind of have grown up to with the like ideology of um treat everybody the same because you never know who somebody could be. And I think that that's wrong, even though I get that, it makes sense, right? But I think that it's wrong because it's basically saying, treat others right only because somebody might be able to do something in return for you. And I don't think that that's correct. Um, you know, this scripture is basically saying that no matter what, we should treat others with kindness and, and you know, uplift each other and be in community with one another because if that's how we uh look at life not only are we calling on god to bless us because he sees that we are spreading his love and spreading his word but we are in turn blessing others and you know it's just beautiful what i wrote was we are all one of the same cause jesus christ we should be a community with one another lifting each other up regardless of the outcome treating your neighbor with so much love because God is love. Now application is going to be the A of soap. 
an application basically is how can you apply this verse to your everyday life? Are there things that you could do different? Are there things that you currently already do that you want to um, continue to uphold? My A or application, I said, although it may be difficult at times, showing mercy and patience for all individuals because we are all God's children, I can work on being more patient and can continue to be the understanding person that I, that I already am. I need to be slow to anger even when those people disrespect me. I need to see God in them at all times. And it's difficult. It's difficult. And I'm, I definitely can tell that God has been working on me um, because I am not the woman I was even just a year ago. Um, I've always been very understanding my entire life. I will, I will give myself credit and pat myself on the back for that. I've been very understanding, but I have been very impatient. Um, and I can tell that God is working on my patience. And so, yeah, the P is going to be prayer. Turn these thoughts into prayer. Ask the Lord to show you how to meditate on and apply the scripture to your life. I would probably just put like a general summary prayer in my book, but I would more so like say that prayer out loud. And that's the soap method and I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, it really lets you dive deep into the word of Jesus Christ and uh, you know, just break it down. Like what is the scripture? What is it saying? How can this help you? And what do you want to pray on behalf of the scripture? And it's just beautiful. And it's just a great daily practice to get closer to the Lord. Um, but what I love about this Bible app, so I use version. I've been using it for a while. Um, it basically will give you the daily scripture. And then <laughs> it will have... Uh, people, we're hey like friends, people. welcome to today's guided scripture here on the Version app. Today's scripture is Romans 12. So these people will go in and like explain what the scripture means. Basically the soap method in a sense, but in video form. So after you do your own soap method, you can still be reinforced with their teaching. Um, and then there's like a guided, um, you know, reflection and devotional and prayer at the end. So it's beautiful. The app is called Uversion. I'll put it on the screen. It has gotten me through some of my hardest times. And so, yeah. Anyway, I'm about to finish up here, pray and go to the gym. And I will catch up with you guys later. Good morning, y'all. It is the next day. I already made my nice cup of tea this morning. I had a little bit of breakfast and um, it is about noon right now, a little before noon. I just spent the morning uploading a vlog that's going to go live today. It's the vlog before this one. So I'll leave a card on the screen in case you're not caught up. I had to like do the thumbnail and all the behind the scenes bits. Okay. So that's what I spent my morning doing. I also got ahead um, on this current vlog uploading that. I don't know why that truck is so loud. <laughs> uploading that content onto my computer because I'm going to go edit this morning. And yeah, I'm just like really proud of myself. I already got up. I read my scripture. I read my Bible. I wrote, you know, in my in my journal. Excuse me. I did some work. Washed my face. Watched a little bit of YouTube. Edited. And yeah, so we're going to get dressed. And this is going to start a series of you have things to wear at the house, sister. You have outfits to wear at the house. You don't gotta buy a new outfit every time you wanna go outside. You got something at the house, let's wear it. Okay? Today, it is mm, 62 degrees outside in Houston. Um, that's pretty good, you know, for it only being February, obviously, but 
if you're from Houston, then you know, baby, we we typically like to reside in like the, the 70s, low 80s, okay? So it's still a little chilly. So I'm going to pull out this skim set. This is from their cozy collection that I love. I adore. Like, if you've been here for a while, y'all already know how I felt about my black cozy collection. I wore that down. It's no longer black. It gives blue black. It's faded. And I'm still going to wear them. But anyway, so we have the pants and the matching crop hoodie let me just go ahead and put on the pants because y'all can't see that part and then i will put on the top separate it's such a beautiful day out though like i love when the sun is shining and the tank is clean honey i referenced that in my last vlog and i haven't obviously has not gone live yet but i'm wondering if people are going to understand the reference it's finding nemo Oh, these fit so good, y'all. Like, let's get into it. Y'all can't even see, but what? What? <laughs> All right, let me put the top on. I'm going to just put on this little black bandeau because the hoodie's going to pretty much be zipped up. I already know y'all probably looking at this crazy, dirty scalp head of mine. I'm not, this is, this hair is not being worn out, baby. We are wearing a hat, okay? So, this is the, the tee. Ooh, it's so soft. Like, Kimberly, Kimberly was in her biggest bag with this collection, in my personal opinion. It's one of my favorites by them. It's just cute. It's just cute. Like, she gets it. She gets it. Okay, let me put y'all down. Let me put y'all down a smidge. Like, Kimberly, Skimberly, 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 Skimberly. She gets it. She just gets it. I'm going to wear um, a hat. So let's grab the hat. Ooh, you know what, y'all? I was going to actually, so I was going to actually wear a black hat, but I think that this LA Dodgers can go with the gray. And I'm wearing gray sneakers. Yeah. So I want to actually flip out my ends. Um, like I did in the picture on the screen. It's just cute. But this actually is not that bad. Even though my hair is like stiff as hell. This is really not that bad. Okay, I'm not mad at this. I'm really not mad at this. Ooh, I'm getting hot, y'all. That's how good this material is. Okay, this is cute. And I'm wearing no makeup today, y'all. Like, I cannot be bothered. Scent of the day. Hold on. Scent of the day is by Byredo. It is the Ball de Freak. I mean, I talk about this every single day. This is like an all-year-round wear for me, in my personal opinion. It's just fresh. It's clean. It really just smells like you washed your behind. Okay? We love that. So that is the get up. And then um, shoes. Un momento. So we're going to go in with my current faves. I have these in two different colors. I will link both pairs down below. They're amazing. I understand why all the dads wear them. Because, <laughs> oh, well, I guess when we were growing up, used to wear them because they're so comfortable. And they really give great support. These are the running, like in like the running class of the New Balances. And they're just great everyday shoes. I used to wear my Nike Metcons down, like to work, to train, just to run errands. And I started to form a corn on my pinky toe because they are like very narrow in the toes. And I have very narrow feet, so that says a lot. Like I feel bad for like the flat-footed girlies wearing those type of shoes but um yeah and so I was like what the hell at first I didn't realize it was due to the shoe I just thought I don't know that I was going a corn and then when I swapped those shoes out for these ones I started to notice that the corn was going away and it was because you have a lot more room in the toe area in these shoes I love them like I love them bad we're just giving cozy casual I'm really craving a matcha, so I'm gonna get a matcha. I'm, I think I'm gonna just go to Sunday Press um, for like maybe an hour and a half, two hours. 
light editing and that I'm really loving this for me because I'm like on my P's and Q's now that I have a lot more time in between work days I can dedicate a day or maybe even two sometimes of my off days to just editing um, and what I like is if I start my day early I can end my day early I've been in bed the last two nights by 9 p.m. I love it here I love it here I really feel like I'm becoming the adult that I've always envisioned personally like I used to really don't get me wrong I'm still a night owl like a lot of like my best ideas come to me at night sometimes I'll just get random bursts of energy at night but like I'm really forming a good habit and I'm proud of myself of like getting into bed early so that I can get up and get at it in the morning like I had a lot of my to-do list done today by 10 30 a.m that's crazy for me Okay, that's my vibe. Cute. I'm gonna bring this bag. I need like a tote, like a gray tote. I, I'm just now starting to realize as of lately. I don't know, I have like a lot of like gray pieces and I like would love to have a tote to match. The cut of this is so cute. Like this is A1. Love. Let me try open these blinds up. Okay, so. I personally would wear this with a black overcoat like such. I'm thinking would I put the hood out or I leave it in? Definitely out. Cute. It just elevates an already very casual, calm outfit. And you just look so much more put together. So I wish that you guys could see the silhouette a little bit better. Let me tilt y'all down a bit. I think this might help. Yeah. You get me? Cute. And then with the bag, even cuter. This is what it's giving for today. It's probably a little too warm for the overcoat. I'll bring it just in case. Um, but nine times out of ten, I won't need it. Because it's Houston. <laughs> All right, let's go edit. I'm going to get me a matcha. And I'll catch y'all later. Cause I actually want to try to get that Sephora, I mean, that topical slick style from Sephora. Um, Cause y'all know I love a good lip product. Okay, honey? And the girlie's been selling it out and I'm thirsty for it, so. This one's for the lovers. If you're out there, you need to say, yeah, 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 yeah. This one's for the lovers. If you're out there, you need to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one's for the lovers. If you're out there, let me hear you say, yeah, 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 yeah. This one's for the lovers. If you're out there, let me hear you say, yeah, 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 Whoa, look at how big. It's a ham and Swiss croissant. Are you kidding? Look at it in the sunlight. Yeah, let's get into it. Y'all, I'm so proud of myself. I finished editing everything up to what I filmed so far, besides this morning. Um, and I already have 30 minutes of footage. And we still have three days of footage to edit. So I'm like, are we back to the two hour vlogs? I don't know, I gotta see. This is hot. Hold on. This is what I have to say so far. I don't even think I've gotten any of the filling yet. This bread is so light and airy. Whoa. I'm making such a mess. This is so good. The ASMR on this is crazy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, inside.
Whoa. The ham and Swiss is, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa. Yeah. Mm. This is different. I probably look so crazy eating this right now. This is the perfect size for what I was trying to get. I just needed something. Something small, but not too small, but not too big before the gym. Yeah. Mm hmm. I genuinely cannot believe how good this is. Like, I'm not even dragging it neither, y'all. Whoa. My mouth was on fire. Boy. Boy. Did I tell y'all this crazy stuff that happened to me? I don't think I did. So tell me why, y'all. All of my, oh my God, I made a huge mess in this car. All of my bills, right, are on auto pay, okay? Hold on, I gotta dust this off, because this is crazy, the amount of crumbs in here. But that croissant, baby, whoa, that was crazy. That, that was insane. That was insane. That was so good. Give me one moment. Okay, let me tell y'all this crazy stuff that happened to me, right? As I pull off. Tell me why I received a bill. I almost never, I don't think I ever intentionally go look at my electric bill. Sometimes if I'm sifting through my emails and I see it, I'll just click on it just to see what they charged me. Everything's on auto pay, right? Do y'all want to know what Express Energy decided to charge me for the month of January? Just take a guess. Pause the video and comment down below how much you think Express Energy charged me for the month of January. And I'll wait. Go ahead. Don't be shy. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. wrong $398 398 buckaroos big ones Benjamins what the f like I didn't come to earth to suffer and that's what it's giving it's giving extortion it's giving illegal behavior it's giving you know, prison, jail time, immediately. $398 for a single woman that lives alone? You're out of your, you, you, you're losing your marbles. You're losing your marbles. Mind y'all, on a, on a monthly basis, on average, I spend somewhere between 160 to 190 on my electric bill. That's probably high to some. I remember once upon a time back in the day when, I'm not even gonna say back in the, back in the day, a couple years ago, my electric bill used to only be like $50. 80 if, if it was really the thick of the winter. 190 is even pushing it, but 398, you're bugging. 400 buckaroos? <laughs> you would have thought I had every light on, everything plugged in, battery packs charging up. You would have thought, like, I just, I, yeah, so I sat on their customer service line for three hours just for them to end up telling me that there's nothing that they, that they could do but give me a payment plan i said you know what fuck that payment plan because either way it's y'all still taking 400 dollars from me so i said you know what i'm gonna pay it but we will check in next month y'all when i get the bill for february i promise on everything i love if it comes even remotely close to that amount I'm not paying it for one and for two. 
I'm switching uh plants because y'all gotta be out of your mind out of your rabbit ass mind special delivery special delivery we have some PR some gifting let's unbox first one I have no idea who it's from hmm Hmm. I love gifting and I love PR. It's just like a holiday. Bye. Little old me, little old me. Good night, good night, buy your life. What? No, nah, this case is getting kept and used. Good night. What? Happy Valentine's Day from YSL Beauty. Treat your lips to glossy shine and ultimate care with best-selling Candy Glaze lips, Lip Gloss Stick, the shine of a gloss and care of a balm for delicious, juicy lips this Valentine's Day. Shop now at Sephora, XOXO, Yves Saint Laurent. I'm speechless. The packaging, good night. Good night. Good night. Y'all are too much, YSL Beauty. Really shout out to my manager because we talked about getting um, on a couple PR lists. Like she was putting me on a few. And this is one of them. And I'm just like so shocked. This is so freaking nice. Whoa, that's weird. And we just had the whole big L'Occitane unboxing at the beginning of this video. Like, Let's go, y'all. Let's go. Like, this is our year. This is our year. You hear me? You hear me? Oh, thank you, YSL. Love you. Now I gotta say that for TikTok. Because, you know, whatever happens over here happens over there. I forgot about this, and I'm super excited. So, it's the brand Good Wipes. And they slid in my DM, and they were like, we want to, you know, send you some stuff. And I was like, bet. So... This says priority mail, please hand deliver straight to your butt. <laughs> and then like, like their packaging is so cute. The butt wants what it wants. That's hilarious. The, the little fake uh, stamp, Pootopia. Y'all got me weak right now. Get out. This is such a freaking cute PR package. Are you kidding me? What is going on? What's going on, y'all? Is this even real? <laughs> oh my God, this is so cute. Okay, so let's get into it, y'all. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. This is so funny, oh my gosh. This is the PR package. <laughs> it says, you give me butt turf flies. And then at the bottom it says, happy V-Day Pookie. And if y'all know me in real life, and I think maybe I say it occasionally on my vlogs, but a majority of my vlogs is just me talking to myself, in a sense, y'all. Um, but like, I call everybody Pookie. Like, so many of my best friends say Pookie now. My coworkers say Pookie now. I don't know, Pookie is just my thing. I don't know, I've been saying it for a while. And so that's cute. Happy V-Day, Pookie. And then they have the Good Wipes in here, which is such a good gift, like, you can never have enough wipes, like flushable wipes, especially for your boom boom, uh, for your booty hole. Um, and these are the XL ones. <laughs> Size matters. I know that's right. Um, but yeah, good wipes. This is the rose water scent. Flushable with plant-based fibers. This is so cute. And these are cool. Like they've been staying nice and chilled. The packaging is A1. Y'all ate that up, good wipes. <laughs> Y'all ate that up. And then like in here, they have a bunch of like stickers, y'all. I think this is a magnet. Good wipes, you give me butterflies. Are you kidding? Like the whole, let's see if it sticks. That's so cute. Ugh. 
Now I don't want to come off. Oh shit, it's stuck, y'all. Okay, now it's coming off. See, this is what I get for trying to show off. Okay. One eternity later. We're gonna ignore that. It comes with a bunch of stickers. Bunch of stickers. We love stickers. And then. Oh, hi, hello there. I'm doing a little duty. Enter at your own risk. That's so cute. You can put this on your door. Ah, that is so cute. That's so cute. Like if I host, like just put this on outside the guest bathroom so we know that you tow it up, okay? And then um, here's a 20% off for y'all. Code Pootopia if you want to try them out online. And yeah. They're sold exclusively at Target, Kroger, Walmart, and Amazon, and GoodWipes.com, of course. This is so cute. Here's the QR if you want to just put your phone up and scan. I feel like as a woman especially, but even a man, just people. After you do a number two, if you're not getting right in the shower, you got to wipe your booty hole clean. I'm sorry. like Your mama ain't never taught you that. Okay. Okay, Valentine's Day. So cute. I'm so grateful that I'm on their PR. Free wipes. I need wipes too. This next one, I have no idea what it. Oh, 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 oh. I forgot about this. So, uh, like, a lot of brands have like slid in my DM. And okay, so if you're new here, uh, hi, my name is Zaz Hable. How you doing? But um, the Desiree Way is kind of like a branch off of the Desiree Fit Way. So really, it should be the other way around. But basically, when I started social media, I started doing like PA fitness content. That was the Desiree Fit Way. I wanted a name that had fit in it, but I didn't want the typical Desi Fit or, you know, people will put their name underscore fit or, you know, I just want something different. So I came up with the Desi Ray Fit Way. So Desi Ray are both my first name and my middle name shortened um, into like nicknames and put together. A lot of people think that my name is Desiree or um, Destiny, neither. It's a Des one. <laughs> but anyhow, so I started with the Desiree Fit Way and then I branched off because I started to realize that I was kind of burnt out with just like the gym content. It's like, Okay, we get it, you do the gym, what else? And I'm a very multifaceted woman. Um, I love fashion, I love beauty, I love traveling. And so I was like, you know what, let's just make a brand just the Desiree way. And it's just all things that Desi does herself, her way. You feel me? Okay. So that's how I came up with my name. Anyway, besides the point, a lot of brands reach out to me. Like I know L'Occitane, um, I believe Good Wipes, um, like Olaplex. Elemis, which I have not received their PR yet, but they slid in my DM recently. Elemis, I can't wait. Uh, but like they reached out to me on my biggest platform on the internet, which is the Desiree Fitway Instagram. However, this brand actually reached out to me via the Desiree Way Instagram. And it's so small. It's at like 12K, um, which might not be small to you, but it's pretty small to me in the grand scheme of like knowing that there are creators out there with like a million followers, you know? So I'm just really excited because it's like, yay, like our little um, community, the Desiree Way is starting to get noticed, like period. Okay, yeah, yeah, because what was said? Because what was said? Yeah, it's February. And you know what that means. Okay. Unapologetically black. Yeah. Yeah. And that's a sticker, I believe. Oh, I love this. Yeah. And this is from the brand NYX. They slid in my DM and they were like, we would... Jesus. This is from the brand NYX. They slid in my DM and they were like, we would love to send you some things. And I was like, okay, period, period. So they asked me like my sizing and such. And so, yeah, I told them. And so let's see what we have in here. I'm really trying not to rip this up because I want to unbox it for TikTok too. But baby, it's tissue paper, so. 
Y'all saw it here first. Oh, period. Period. I love, and this is just a PSA to all brands. I love when y'all send PR, but y'all put other goodies in there. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm very grateful for just the product itself. But when you put extra things in there, it's like, you really F with me heavy and like, twin, where have you been? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, this PR package is so dope. So dope. Whoa, wait, let me find out guys listening to me as he always does, prayer. I'ma get to why I said that in a second, but this PR package is so cute. Aww. It's just like a bunch of stuff in here. Let me start off with their stuff first because I feel like that's the most important, you know? So they have all of their things uh, tagged with like these yellow NYX stickers on here. And uh, the first thing that I see is a little help goes a long way. Inspired by Nick's customer, Niha, who loves thongs and hates embarrassing leaks. This is light absorbency. It's the leak proof thong. So if you guys aren't familiar with Nick's, they're like an intimates line um, and they have a bunch of stuff. And this is their leak proof thong. So you can wear it when you're on your period. It says these undies hold up to two teaspoons of liquid, about the same as one regular tampon and have more limited coverage, but they're great as backup protection. I love that. Like stuff like this is like, you don't really know that you need it until you try it and you're like, this is a game changer. Next they gave me, and I'm not opening these cause I'm waiting until TikTok. So if you're curious, head over to my TikTok. Um, this, these are the thigh saver shorts. Seriously enough with the chafing, Oh, they look like that. So it's giving shapewear. <laughs> and then last but not least, we have their Lux Lift bodysuit, period. Oh yeah, this one I am opening because it has like a, a slide top like that. Oh, this material is A1. I wish that y'all could feel it. Oh no, this is giving. This is giving Spanx, like, this is good. This is real good. With the built-in bra, everything. Thank you, NYX. Okay, now let's get into the other stuff that they included in here. And the first one, it's funny because I don't know if y'all heard me earlier saying like I really need a tote bag. I did say a gray coat. This is not gray, but it's just funny because I was just speaking on a tote bag. And look what they put in here. A tote bag. <laughs> um, PYE, always remain unbothered. Huh. I wonder what the PYE stands for. I like this though. This is cute. Like, just like daily stuff. Casual. It can fit my laptop, it's big enough. Okay, so they put that in there. Wait a second. I know her. <laughs> oh my God, okay, so funny story. I'm, I turn the card over, so there's a card in here that says unapologetically black, right? And I turn it over and I'm like, why does this girl look so freaking familiar? That is my girl Raven. Okay, so when I started my fitness page, Raven was one of like the other um, smaller in influencers like myself that I had also followed, like we followed each other and I love her. Um, it says, we're Dominique and Raven. We run the NYX ambassador program. In celebration of Black History Month, we have curated a black owned business gift box featuring products from some of our NYX ambassadors and business owners from within the NYX network. Um, oh, I love this. They are so, that's tea. Please consider supporting these amazing black owned and led businesses by following and promoting them on social media, sharing with your network and checking out their products. So these are all the ads to the products that I'm about to show y'all. Wow. We've also included a NYX Intimate set, included, including our patented leak-proof technology underwear in one of our nude shades. This is beautiful. I love, like, 
things that matter and that make a difference. Like, so all of these companies, these ads down below are all black owned. And I'm gonna go through some of their things. How beautiful. Okay, so the first one is this tote bag. It is by Unbothered Fashion House. And it's this beautiful beige color. This is just so simple. And like, I could just use it on like a daily basis for like little things, you know? Love her. And then this is their their brand and this is the qr code if you want to shop and their instagram cute so i'm gonna put that in here so i remember the next thing is the jam gamble pick a card daily to remember why your vo why your voice is your ultimate superpower so these are affirmation cards how cute oh i don't want to open these up yet i'm gonna save it for tiktok but I'm excited. Like the, the uh, example one on the cover says, I give myself permission to use my voice. These are gonna be good. These are gonna be really good. The next one is Frizz and Co. And repairing, Frizz and Co. Repairing hair mask for curly hair. Tobacco and Tonka bean scent. Ooh. So y'all know I don't wear my hair curly, but I'ma still use a mask, okay? Oh, the packaging. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, you're kidding. Y'all know I'll be pressed about scents. Wow, that mug is thick. Do you hear me? Thick with two C's. Whoa. I'm excited to try that out. This is like Christmas, I swear. Next we have Curl Beauty. Ooh, yes. This is their Rosemary and Mint Scalp Serum. We love anything with rosemary or mint. I think I'm gonna do this tonight, to be honest, because I'm washing my hair tonight. And I'm taking out my two little tapes. Mm-hmm, yes ma'am. Let's see what this is given. This is their page. This is Curl Beauty. And this is their QR. Thanks, y'all. Next, we have London Ivy Coils and Curls Styling Gel. Once again, I do not wear my hair curly, but best believe I will give this to somebody that I know will get great use out of it, or I'll just keep it for guests if they come over. Oh, let's smell it. I know I love to smell, oh, there's a, what's it called on top? And that's okay, because I don't need to be getting into it anyway. It's not mine. <laughs> um, thank you, London Ivy. We have Noir Girls Plant. And these are moment rollers. And I'm carrying this everywhere with me. This is their grounded essential oil blend. It says, you are enough. We love affirmations, okay? This has castor oil, myrrh oil, amber oil, sage oil, pine oil, frankincense oil, sandalwood oil, vanilla oil. Love. Made in Canada. Love, 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 love. says, our scents were curated by those much needed moment reminders. Moments to pause, be present, and focus on you. Take a deep breath, hold, and release. We encourage you to do this as many times as needed and reapply throughout the day when you feel you need a moment. Our scents last up to 60 minutes at a time. We also want to int intentionally create something that allowed you to have the option to explore under other scents. I love this, and I'm about to put it on right now. Like, <laughs> me and Smell Goods, Go together real bad. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And it applies really easily. It smells so good. Thank you. Thank you to the Knicks team and Raven. Girl, I love you. She looks so pretty here too. And the other girl.
Hey y'all, so we are back home. It is super late right now. Like I, I just, one thing about me, if I'm gonna start something, I'm gonna finish it. I'm gonna keep going until I finish it. It's like 2 a.m. Um, I have freshly washed and gave myself a nice flat iron, silk press, whatever you wanna call it. She's cute, she's cute, she's sleek. But I don't know if you guys can tell from the density, I took my tapes out. So you see all this breakage? Yeah. So I do um, always have, well not always, I just started doing it recently, but um, I will put two tapes in the front of my head just to give the front a lot more body like the back has. Um, so I took them out, washed, conditioned, blew my hair out. I also incorporated a round brush at the root and it got my root so freaking sleek. Like this is tea. I don't know why I have not been doing this to like stretch my Brazilian blowouts, like the time in between the touch-ups or whatever. But anyway, it came out so good. Besides the point, I've never done this before, but I'm going to attempt to do my own tapings at home. Here's the tape, and yes, I reuse my tapes, okay? <laughs> I am not at the point in my life that I am just going to buy new hair every time I get my hair done or every time I want to do my hair. If you guys like that, by all means, do you boo, but I'm gonna keep doing me, especially because I only use like a couple tapes. It's like, what's the point of me buying, like needing to buy new tapes every time? I'm gonna just reuse them as long as they're good. I have taken the glue off of this one and cleaned it off cleaned off the residue with some alcohol washed and blew out the hair this is actually kinky straight a kinky straight texture which i find this is probably one of the best um textures that sky could have ever matched me to because when you press it out it literally gives my hair so I'm going to retake these and I'm going to show you an example. I actually tried to do one and then I ended up taking it off because I realized that I think I put it a little too high. But so these are called double sided tapes. So obviously this is smooth and they're taped to this paper. So I'm going to pull it off like so. And we would take this and attach it to this side of the tape, okay? So, basically somewhere in the middle, I'm going to assume. Oof. Lord help me. That's a little off center, but it's fine. Once they sandwich, they'll be straight. So it'll look like that. And then all you would do is pop and pull off at the center and you would sandwich the two pieces together. Okay, so I just retabbed one tape. I'm gonna retab them all and then we're gonna attempt to put these in. I'm nervous, I'm scared. <laughs> Just put space in between the tapes, but I want hers to be nice and full, so I'm putting them close together, but not touching. <laughs> I'm scared, but we're gonna just give it a go. So I, I'm just watching a quick little refresher. I've seen Skylar do this a million times. And like, even when I said to her, I think I'm just gonna take them out. Y'all, I'm not naked, I have a bandeau on, Lord. Let me just pull it all the way up to my freaking clavicle. When I had brought it up to her, she even, she didn't even say like, oh no, don't do that. Like, you know, so I'm feeling like she, if she has confidence in me to do this, I can do this. So this is the little area that we're going to be disguising. So I'm going to go in. Unfortunately, because my freaking bob grew so much, I'm irritated that Sky lives all the way across the country from me. And I'm sorry, but like, 
I'm not flying home every other month to get, you know, my hair cut. I do think I'm going to find some, like, a stylist out here that can just, like, give me trims in between going to her to get, like, my maintenance and stuff. We do see each other very often. But, like, for example, the next time I'm seeing her is next month for her birthday. She's coming to Houston in March. But it's, like, I already know, like, she's not going to want to do her hair, you know, during her birthday trip. And, like... Yeah, like I, I kind of feel bad making her have to work on her, like on her in a sense vacation. And I think I might be doing a collab, a hair collab during that time anyway. Besides the point, this is not that difficult. I can do this. I can do this. I'm gonna start off by just sectioning where I think I wanna go. So, and you guys are gonna just have to excuse the leave out breakage this is breakage that occurred from a sewn situation that went kind of wrong um that i've just been trying to rectify and my hair grows like a weed y'all know that but yeah so i'm just going to see this is the thing i don't want it to get too close to the front because it um, I have very, if you guys can't tell, I have very fine hair. And so it's like, my hair will pull out from the freaking root if it's too um, close to the front or, you know, it's in a soft area. So anyway, I feel like, okay, so this is going to be, from what I've seen, I, I'm seeing that people are saying you put the tape down on top first and then whatever hair sticks to it when you lift up is what you sandwich with the other side so <laughs> i'm just trying to map out the other thing that's very crucial is we have an angled cut so if you guys can tell you see how uneven that is and it's because i have an angled cut so I do still think though, regardless, we had them going towards the front of my face because I like my hair falling forward with the bob. Yeah, so I think this will be a good area to go right here. And I'm just gonna have to try to mash it up as good as I can with the bottom piece. Oh, I need to stop being such a pussy, but it's just scary y'all. Stop it. Let me watch. Okay, so now I'm going to start my second row. And as you can see, I'm leaving out more hair because of the edges. Yeah, I want to make sure I have full coverage. So I'm still going to do a tester just to make sure I'm covering it up. And I want it nice and full so I'm not leaving like any hair in between each tape i'm literally just going in and starting the next row gosh this is harder than i thought it would be fyi y'all i do not when i wear when i do my tapes like in the like around the middle part i do not care about putting out edges or like doing like updos like that's not the vibe like the vibe is low ponies if anything majority of the time my hair will be down so i don't care if you can see my edge or my tapes when you flip my hair this way because I'm not wearing it that way ever um, until I take them out. So just an FYI. Um, but I really pray and hope that whoever's watching is not taking this as a, tu a serious tutorial like to follow. Baby, I will lead you in the wrong direction, okay? I'm, this is, this is a first. I'm barely hanging in there. Why did my hair go this much? Like, that's absurd. <clears throat> All right. That means we're gonna have to bring it down some more. What I'm gonna do is clip this into place to make sure, yeah, so this is how low I'm gonna have to go with the first one. And then I'm gonna have to clip it to make sure that that's where I wanna go. Okay, yeah, that looks good. So, let me try to like clip this into place to see how it will look. 
when the rest of this hair gets put down. And make sure that it's doing its job of covering, and it is. See what I mean? Yeah. And then the other one will go somewhere in this front bang piece, like here. Um, but let me just map it out to make sure that this is a good location. Hmm. I like it damn near like in my face. Like you can damn near see the tape. Like if you really, really, really are that close. I like the way that it falls that way. And yeah, because we're gonna have to bring it down. Shoot, that's not, don't pull too hard now, child. Girls, my hair has grown so much. This is actually so sick in the head. Move this hair down. Damn, we're at the brink. We're at the edge. I wish I could cut my own hair. And I have a pair of shears here, but they are so dull. And I do not want to give myself split ends for the sake of a freaking hairdo. Damn. <laughs> okay, where's the other clip? Oh, it's here. So let's just see. Let's hypothesize. Is that even a freaking word? How this would look. Ignore the silver parts, clearly. But I just want to make sure that this placement covers. Mind you, we still have the sandwich. Okay, you kind of ate that bit. You kind of ate that little one. That one thing right there. You kind of ate that, sister. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm so happy that I mapped it out like this and clipped it so I know where I'm going back in. Oh my god, I'm just talking. I'm talking and talking and talking. Shut up. Here goes nothing, y'all. Should I put a robe on so it doesn't look like I'm naked? Put this damn robe on. Oh, makeup from when I fell asleep in my makeup? <clears throat> Embarrassante. I can't believe how late it is and I wasn't I just talking to y'all about how I've been going to bed so early and I've been doing so good well this kind of got messed up because I had to do my hair we're just gonna go ladies we're gonna be sitting here waiting all night and ain't gonna get shit done it's game time baby it's game time oh lord it's game time okay said give some space to protect my edges so give space Oof, and it hurts if you have to lift it up I don't have it placed hard yet. Okay, okay, this is good, this is good. Shut down, sister. Push it down. Push it down. So they say push the top down and then when you lift up, whatever hair is on it is what you sandwich. I'm not seeing much hair. Hold on, let me push down harder. <laughs> this is good placement though. I'm proud of myself. Very proud of myself. And we're gonna sandwich it. So when I lift, 
Sorry, y'all. I'm out of frame, but I got to focus real quick. Hold on. Update. <laughs> and yes, I had to take that robe off because it was giving me anxiety. I had to really tap in, lock in. Locked the hell in. Are we kidding? Are you joking me right now? Yeah, slayed that. Even slayed it with the hair growing out. So I put one here and then the other one here just two little tapes and it makes such a difference oh my gosh oh my god this is so easy i'm about to start doing my own tapes from now on <laughs> period i think what i am gonna do is just end up buying a bundle of tapes and each time like in between when i go back to like the shorter cut like maybe have like a set for this long length and a set for the fresh short length um you know so that I don't have to um worry about moving them down and you know getting closer to my edges and stuff like that this really isn't that bad because you can still see it flips up so this is what I mean when I say I don't care that like obviously these are my edges they're not going to cover this tape because I'm never gonna wear my hair up just, just, I'm not going to. I'm happy I managed to do it without having to go all the way to my edges. And they feel nice and sturdy and secure. Um, I'm really happy with it. The tape that I ordered was actually where I got this hair from. Oh, and by the way, do y'all see how easy this hair flat ironed out? Like, a dream. So, um... This is from the Posh Collection. Um, I never heard of them. They, I think that they're based out in Cleveland, but um, Sky got hair from them. And so then she told me about them. So then when I was thinking about it, I'm like, hmm, if I'm gonna buy tape to redo this, I might as well buy the tape of the original, you know, hair. So that's why I got tape from that company so yeah and I just trimmed it up a little bit just the pieces that were a little out of place um but yeah I think what I'm gonna end up doing because honestly I have this hair that'll last me until like yeah last me about one more month so like mid to end of March and then I think when it's time for us to um for like Sky's birthday at the end of March, I'm gonna have an install for her like birthday festivities of some sort. And then um, literally the weekend, two weekends after I'm going to somewhere, <laughs> that'll be a surprise for a wedding. It's a destination wedding, gonna be a lot of fun. So I'm gonna get braids for that, I think. And then like the boho braids and then literally four weeks later, I'm going to another destination for a friend's birthday. So I think I'm just gonna keep those braids in and then after I come back from that trip, I will go and get my Brazilian touched up and like, you know, tapes moved up and everything. So yeah, I'm feeling like this little self install, it's not gonna have to last, you know, forever and ever. Like we'll be straight with this lasts in the next four to five weeks. I'll be good, so. Mm -hmm. I just wanna tap in. I'ma show y'all the end, but this is the difference that it makes. Like, it's kind of embarrassing, but until this front grows out, this is what I am gonna be doing. But can you see the difference in the density? And then obviously the length a little bit, cause I like this front angled like that. But can you see, it's not the craziest difference, but like really it's when you turn and you see that hole. It's so hideous, hate it, versus this side. It's just so cleek, uh, cleek. It's just so chic and clean and put together. Typically, if I don't have any extension in my hair, I will always have it behind my ear because I just don't like that hole. I think that that hole is so just like unappealing. Nobody asked, okay.
also today I have just been doing a bit of work. I edited, um, I filmed a TikTok, filmed and posted a TikTok for that YSL Beauty um, gifting. And now I'm about to film another TikTok for them. I just feel like, you know, some things that a lot of creators don't talk about is um, paying it for to the brands that, you know, gift you things. Cause it's, even though, oh, by the way, what's the hair given? Is the hair given? I'm really happy with it. I feel like I like did my biggest one. Anyway, I feel like a lot of um, brand people don't talk about like, yeah, even though like that's what comes with being a quote unquote influencer or content creator, like you really still should um, show, you know, appreciation for the stuff that like brands do for you. Um, Why sell is a luxury brand, which I would love to like work with like on a, even larger scale than just their beauty like i would love to work with like ysl like in the fashion department y'all know i really get down with my fashion stuff and so you know it's just all about really um showing support and paying for it anyway my lips look dry um it's only because i'm about to film you guys don't have to excuse the background the background is not finished i'm gonna get another shelving oh my god i haven't even like showed you guys so you guys remember from my last apartment i had two of these one on each side of my bed um and i might move it back in there but for now because that bedroom is not set up yet um i just decided to put something in that corner just to kind of fill the back space you guys i think i've like said this before yeah um i got this mirror from sam's club i got a lot of questions on it it's the like what do you want to call it the anthropology dupe that went viral like a year or two ago i randomly was just like oh i kind of think i want to go with like a like white and gold theme in here so I'll pick that up and then this shelving unit i will link it down below it is from wayfair i've seen them it's kind of like an abstract situation which i love um i currently don't have anything on the shelves because i um want to actually get two to make the full circle so it may not seem like two will fit but it will i've already figured it out measured it and everything like that so i would slide this one this way and then put both of them by the by their sides blah, blah, and put both of them side by side um and yeah so anyhow so i'm about to film some content for this these are the ysl candy glazes and um i was gifted this for Valentine's Day, so I'm just like, why not? This is an easy piece of content, um, and I'm really, really excited to try them anyway. So yeah, my nails are atrocious. If you guys have been clocking that tea all vlog, thank you so much for not saying anything in the comments. And if you're thinking about saying anything in the comments, just go ahead and delete it, sister, uh, because if you do comment it, I will block you. <laughs> um, but no, it. it the reason why I said just go ahead and delete it is because I am getting them done on Monday. Um, I just really am like, you know what? I'm just getting through these next two days of work and then I will get them done after. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm really happy with my hair though, y'all. Like, okay, who is she? It's giving hairstylist for real. Not really because there's, you know, a little bit of a, I don't know. Anyway, we're not going to talk about that. This is as good as it's going to get until I'm able to get it done, period. Basically, I have this tripod that has my phone on it and you guys are actually sitting on my vanity. I will turn you guys around so you can see. So yes, it is very messy up here, but I have my vanity in front of me and then I have one um, panel light to the side and another one to the side and um i will set oh i was not supposed to see that <laughs> i have a big wagon of like pr and like packages right here i'm saving it for a big pr unboxing haul um so yeah it's a mess in here anyway so yeah i always film if i'm like filming like a sit down type situation i usually will film up the back camera on my phone um, I have the iPhone 15 Pro Max for reference so the nice thing about using the back camera 
I'm gonna show y'all is my makeup ate today though y'all like excuse me i like using the back camera on the phone for one it's going to be the most crisp quality but for two i can actually see myself so i'm going to show y'all i can see myself in the reflection as i'm filming so yeah, this is like an inception, inception moment. <laughs> I'm gonna be looking this way because obviously I'm gonna be filming the TikTok, but you guys are gonna be able to see at the same time. Two for one content. So I don't hear nothing. I'm giving the girls, I'm giving the girls something, okay? I know I told y'all I was gonna save makeup content for TikTok or like short form stuff. Or what, what the hell am I saying? I know I said that I was gonna save all the makeup and whatnot for like short form, like reels and TikTok and whatnot, but it's like, if I can do it, then I'm gonna do it. Um, I really wanna make this shorter. Like I want my face to be, I think I'm gonna put myself on my iPhone on this tripod. And I don't really use this one, but I used it recently and I liked the height cause this is making me a bit short i haven't decided if i want to film this on like in app or just back camera and then post post production edit because sometimes i do film um in app on tiktok i feel like i get so many questions on my filming setup and and what settings and how do i film and da, da, da. and it's kind of just day by day y'all like i really just figure out what I want to do for the day and that's it some days I switch it up some days I keep it the same all right there we go so I'm just gonna keep it rolling as I record and sometimes I stutter and sometimes I film over again and that's okay you know what I'm saying like it's not gonna be perfect you just have to try that's the biggest thing you just gotta try girls just gotta try I also zoomed my camera into 1.1 just for a little bit more of a zoom effect but you know what i want to do which i have not done before i want to put a light in the background just to give some dimension to the room let's do that so i found one of these old newer lights but the only thing is all the stands that i have are currently being used like y'all are on a stand i have the two stands for the two lights in front of me so it's giving I'm gonna just have to put this on the ground, I think. Shoot. Let's see. I'm just experimenting. And literally, this is what it's about, y'all. Like, you're not, you, you just have to keep practicing and keep trying until you, you perfect it, until you literally perfect your signature look or your, your setup. Like, you just, just trial and error. That's all. Trial and error. super yellow I think just to warm up the background a bit like I want this to sit on the ground somewhere a bit low uh and that's what i don't want i don't want the shadows but this already gave like life to the background let me see on my iphone what it looks like oh okay i do love the dimension i'm just gonna have to tweak it 
So what are we gonna do, y'all? Let's see, what do I need to do? I need to not have, like I want it to reflect, but it's giving, do I just put it up? Or will that still create a shadow? Let's see. Okay. Okay, this is a bit better, actually. Wait, I kind of love this. Okay, so it's gonna look weird for y'all because like this is empty, but just realize that this is the only part that's being filmed. Oh, I actually vibe with this a lot, y'all. I vibe with this a lot, I vibe with this heavy actually. So this is the part that kind of sucks. I'm going to film it once on my back camera and then depending on how I like it, I might have to film it over again on the front camera in app because sometimes the front camera just does a better job of like looking. I don't know how to explain it, but there's like presentable and then there's TikTok presentable. That sounds absolutely nuts, but it's a real thing. Um, and like, I don't mean the way that I look. Cause that's also a con like a controversial topic like TikTok pretty and like real life pretty i'm not talking about that baby i know i'm pretty period and that is not even me being conceited that's just me being for real but i mean uh presentable like the way that it gives and delivers on the app okay y'all so i think i'm gonna record this in the mirror like reflection like so the iphone back camera is facing the vanity mirror instead of me straight on so I'm nervous. I don't know why. I think it's because I don't want to get this dirty. But here we go. Oh. Oh. So I, because of the way I've seen it finish on people, I was expecting it to go on wet. It's literally like a bomb. Oh, it's very pretty. This is like the perfect shade. If you just want like a clear top coat. Oh, this is gorgeous. They're so hydrating and so glossy, but it's a bomb. Why so y'all did y'all's biggest one. I've never tried any of these, but I'm really excited because I've heard a lot of good things. This packaging eats down. So they're twist ups. Oh, oh. I was expecting it to go on wet it's literally like a bomb. Oh, it's very pretty. This is like the perfect shade if you just want like a clear top coat. This is shade 13. She's pink. Interesting. It's like a pink with an orange undertone. I actually really like it. Cute. This is the shade number 14. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. This might be the winner. They're so hydrating and so glossy, but it's a bomb. I don't know how to explain it. Last but not least, we have shade number 15. Oh, I like this one so much better than the other pink. This is more of like a baby pink. This is cute. The formula is amazing. They're super hydrating and I love that they're tinted. What do you guys think? Sorry y'all, my camera died earlier, but I did, I'm pretty sure I included the TikTok on in the video so you guys can watch it and see how the swatches came out um i really like the product fyi but listen we just ordered zora's ash because who was gonna cook tonight okay so i tried this new it's not even new i've just I'm trying it for the first time it's called the taco stand and it's in the heights oh yeah Okay, I don't know if where y'all live. Down here in Texas. Mm, someone smells funny. Um, I love this freaking salsa. So, okay, yes, 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 yes. I, I didn't know which one it was. Um, it was a jalapeno sauce and a habanero sauce. I think this is the habanero because this joint is hot. When you see it, it's like a lime greenish color. And then I think this is jalapeno. It's like more like salsa verde. 
um, color. But y'all, ooh, I was craving like street tacos. Dang. Mm, this shit stinks, kind of. <laughs> anyway, I got three tacos. I got one barbacoa. I got one al pastor, which is uh, pork. And then I got one um, carne asada. And then I got a side of refried beans. I got all this for $19, y'all. Pretty good. I mean, in my opinion, with the sides and everything. Yeah. Mm, I, don't, I don't know about y'all, but I love me some refried beans. I was going to get rice, but sometimes, depending on where you go, the, the Mexican rice do not be having flavor. And, like, that'll really piss me off. Like, one thing that Africans, Hispanics, and Asians all have in common, we do not play about our rice, okay? <laughs> so... I ended up not getting the rice, but um, y'all, I got the lote, lote crema. So it's like corn. What is that? Jesus. Okay. I just want to get into this corn because I've never ordered this. Oh, it's legitimately, and then you mix the cream. Okay. I hope it's not nasty, but I was just like, let me just try it. First bite. <laughs> Somebody commented that on my last video, like y'all, you should, uh, there's a creator that'll be like, uh, y'all get the first bite or something like that. And I'm like, oh, that's cute. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can vibe with that. <laughs> For sure. For sure, you're right on. Oh, you know, I should have set y'all up like I'm Keith Lee. I got it. Let's try it and ready to run the 10. <laughs> okay. Okay, Elote. Now the corn is fire. I ain't gonna hold you. When you mix it up, no. The corn is bussing. All right, let's get into the refried beans. And y'all, I'm about to sit my behind right over there on that couch. And I'm about to watch Bridgerton. I don't know where I started it. I tried to get into it like some months back before I started Suits. And then, baby, once I started Suits, I was not laying up. That is like... That goes in one of my top five all-time favorite shows. That's such a good... I wish I could have the opportunity to watch Suits all over again from season one for the very first time. You know what I'm saying? Like, not knowing what's happening. Like, never had seen it before. Like, I wish I could experience it for the first time again. It was so freaking good. If you've never watched, please watch. And if you have watched, please comment down below that you are Team Suits. Like, oh, I wish that they would, like, bring that show back. But not like a reboot with new characters. Like all original characters, please. Thank you. So I started Bridgerton and I'm obsessed. I'm a hopeless romantic, so I love love. And it's like scandalous and it's funny and it's witty. I'm really rocking with Bridgerton. Okay. Let's try these refries out. First bite. It's given I'm giving y'all poop, but... Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Stomach gonna be on <laughs> a thousand in the morning, but that's okay. And I'm not gonna try these on camera. But I'm almost uh, certain that, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I already know these are about to be gas. So this is the barbacoa. You're kidding. You're joking. <laughs> Yeah, period. And you know I got it on the corn tortillas, okay? Authentic over this way. This is, let's see. Ooh, pastor. Easy, pastor. 
Mm, mm -hmm. The meat is busting. No, y'all, it's fresh. It's good. I store. Like this is really what I was craving. I was gonna order Chipotle. Imagine that. <laughs> and like I was gonna get it delivered too. So like once you pay for a delivery, I would have paid like seventeen dollars for Chipotle versus the nineteen for all of this. Like yeah. So smart. Thank you, DoorDash. DoorDash, we need to do a collab soon because the amount of time that I DoorDash or I put people onto DoorDash, DoorDash is so much better than Uber Eats. I'm sorry, Uber Eats. I have not had one Uber Eats experience where they did not mess up my order or they just did not give me the food and, and placed it like they did. Like, y'all shysty. And then this is the carne asada. This is probably the most bland. Oh, dang. You know what I forgot to ask for? Limes with my goofy self. That was so silly of me. Okay. Carne asada is good. Mm-hmm. Well, thank God I got my green salsa. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna get into this, y'all. I work tomorrow and Saturday. And then, yeah, um, Sunday will be a week for the weekly vlog. So maybe I'll see y'all tomorrow night. If I don't, I'll see y'all on Sunday. Sunday. I'm so sorry, y'all. I really do need a, a new car mount. I don't know if it's the car mount or if it's just the bumpy roads of Houston, but I, I'm so sorry that y'all are shaking like that. Anyways, um, happy Sunday. Today has been, it's been, it's been, and that's all I'm going to say. I had a really bad mental breakdown this morning. And I'm irritated just because it was not a breakdown that really made sense. Because I know better. It was just more so like, I do, th I, I do think my cycle is about to come on for one. So I'm a little more hormonal. Um, and honestly, sometimes we just have weak moments because we are human and we have flesh. Basically, I just was scrolling on TikTok for far too long got a little in my feelings about some things um and really i don't know i don't know but it's sunday um i did read my scripture of the day today um process that then i got really i got extra sad because i was just like trust god like why, why are you allowing your negative self thoughts and the devil to creep into your mind and distract you from God so then I got even more upset that's like girl like come on come on you know better outside of that it's been a pretty decent morning it's about noon and I am heading to the gym what else is new at this point funny thing y'all so I was walking down the hall of my apartment and this man as I'm like about to like I'm approaching his door like where his door is in the hallway he's walking out of his door and he locks his door, you know, I just like smile. And he was like, hello, I was like, hello, whatever. And I, I saw this TikTok, um, this creator that I follow, I think her name is Izzy or Isabel. And she was like um, talking about how she changed uh, the way that she acts, like when she's in public with other people, like she won't put her head down if she's walking past somebody like she she looks up uh and it just like she felt more I, I honestly can't remember off the top of my head what she said but it was just her basically talking about being more confident and not just like looking at your phone every time you pass another human being and whatnot so um what do i do as i'm passing this man of course of course is this guy gonna let me in i need sorry <laughs> Like, people literally lay on the horn like he wasn't going left and I wasn't going right. Like, I will never understand. So, she was basically talking about that. Okay. And so, what do I do when I see this man? I say hello. And then I put my head in my phone. And it's because, like, I just get uncomfortable. And really, truly, what it is is that, like, I just know 
Like, I will sit here and be like, oh, like, where's my husband? I'm ready for my husband. But, like, I know I'm not ready. I know I'm not ready. And, like, <sighs> does anybody even understand what I'm saying? I've just been blabbing my mouth for the last five minutes, and I feel like I've made no sense. But just hear me out. I know that I want to be a wife. I know that I want to have a husband and have a beautiful family one day. But... It's just like sometimes the pressure, sometimes the pressure is getting worse. Like, I, I don't know. It's just when I meet some people, when, when I, when I meet a man or like a man comes up and talks to me and he's fine too, like I instantly am just like, oh no. And I think, and this is just some, some introspection for a second y'all. So don't judge me. I think that I've gotten very comfortable being single for a while, and that's okay, but like, babes, you can't do this forever. You can't do it forever, Deswa. So, let the story, it, it even gets worse, okay? So, I put my head down on my phone, and like, I'm walking, and like, I have really long legs. I don't know if you guys have like assessed that about my body, like, I have long legs so my strides are pretty long even though I'm only like 5'7 um I have very long strides so I typically end up like to the average person it looks as though I'm like walking fast so I'm I'm walking normal but then I'm like oh shoot me and this guy basically as he was done like locking his door is when I was like at his door so now he's pretty much walking right behind me so I'm like oh shoot he's like right behind me so I kind of start walking a bit faster just because I'm like I don't want to be like walking shoulder to shoulder with this man because that's gonna force me to have to interact with him <laughs> and if you live in Houston from Houston you know know anything about Houston these folks will talk down here okay I love it personally because I'm a talker too but like when it's a comfortable situation really aka when it's with other women i feel comfortable i will blab my mouth all day like if you're new if i just met you or i've known if i've known you like i'm a talk so i love that about southern folk but like i'm a midwestern gal and like i'm so like i i used to be so comfortable going a whole day without saying a single word like if i had a whole day to myself and like just ran errands and came home to my to myself like i could go a whole day without talking I was like talking to myself, but you guys know what I mean, right? I'm like, if I'm walking shoulder and shoulder with this man, he's gonna try to talk to me. And I don't even mean in like a, you know, sexual, oh, trying to get at me. Probably. I mean, because look at me. No, I'm kidding. But, um, you know, just in general. And, and the thing is, unfortunately, I know what that comes with. And, th and that just, that leads into, oh, you know, I don't know. I just... I really dread that, like, those type of interactions with men. Come on, girl. She's blowing her nose. Like, y'all, if y'all go to EOS, you know the parking be slim pickings. And then people will literally sit in their car and, like, just just sit there. And it's like, babes, you know I'm waiting on this spot. And it's freezing, y'all. It's, like, 50 today. Which is kind of, I mean, it's pretty cold for Houston. Hold on. I, okay. Well, I guess not, we're going to be waiting together. Like, Oh, I hate people like this. She's just sitting here, cute little BMW, like, girl. Anyway, back to the story. So I start speeding up. So then I hear his, as I'm approaching the door to like go into the garage, I hear his footsteps speeding up. And I'm like, oh, like, so then I start getting scared because I'm like, like, I'm genuinely scared of men. I'm like thinking like, is this man about to attack me, hit me, something like whatever. Cause I'm a freak of nature. And, uh, so then he goes, Oh, let me get that for you. The door. You want to get the door for me? Can y'all tell how far down below to the deep pits of hell the bar has been set currently in 2024? Not, not, I'm genuinely shocked that a man not only open the door because I've had men open like especially here in Houston men will open the door for you all the time and I don't mean like in a romantical way I mean like you know they're coming out they'll stop hold the door like you know, they're there are genuine 
gentleman down here. But when I say this man had absolutely no obligation, he was behind me. He was not in front of me. He was behind me. And he was like, let me get the door for you. I said, thank you. So how our building is, there's a door to get out into like the lobby elevator area. And then there's another door to go into the garage. So he opens the front, the first door. And then obviously I'm still ahead of him because I walk through the door as he's holding it. And then he like does a little one, two, like hop step to go to the next door to open it again. And I'm just like, thank you so much. Have a wonderful weekend. Maybe it's Sunday. Why would you say weekend? Have a wonderful day, sir. Or just say thank you and leave it at that. Like, you're doing too much, that's why. But really, it's because I, I just get nervous. And like, I'm a very confident woman. Actually, a lot of men that have approached me or have not approached me um, or slide in my DMs. And it's, I think that this is so corny. And so like, if you're a man and you're, which, oh, this is so corny and so I, I dread this but like if you are a man watching this video trying to figure out a way to get my attention please 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 do not mention that you were intimidated by me that you were you are scared or like nervous because I find that like it gives off like am I the man am I masculine because I'm a very feminine woman and it's like but I get it in a sense like the man isn't saying he's scared like he's like a puss it's just he's just saying like you know like a very beautiful woman and I'm not saying like oh my god I'm just, I mean I know I'm a I'm a pretty woman but like attractiveness can be intimidating to people the way that you carry yourself can be intimidating um you know just and then like unfortunately I don't know why people attribute oh they are fine this should be having some fine ass men y'all um people attribute black women to being more scary or like aggressive so men also get into anyway i'm just going on long run right now but i i hope the viewers and i hope y'all understand gang where we're at it was just interesting because i'm just like whoa like that that took me for a doozy and like he was like a handsome man probably somewhere around mm, somewhere between five ten six foot um i personally like mine six foot and up really six two six three if i'm being precise but you know like i could do a six footer no problem five ten is pushing it five eleven i don't mean you're five nine and then you say you're five eleven because you put shoes on no no no, no. i mean a true five eleven like a five eleven to me is somebody that says that they're six foot because you're really 5'11", but you're rounding up, in my personal opinion. Majority of the people. There might be some true six-footers out there, but typically, nah, no. Nah. They're 5'11", but you're rounding up. I could do a 5'11". Once we start to get, get into the 5'10s and 5'9s, it's, cause I'm a big woman. Like, I'm 5'7", and, and some change, okay? So that's already one. Then two, I'm bottom heavy. Like, I'm a thick girl. Like, I weigh 160, y'all. Like, I'm a big woman. Um, and like, I'm heavy. Like I, I need me a big man, a big, strong man. Okay. Um, but so yeah, he was probably like a soft five eleven, six foot black man, handsome. He, he definitely like gave like, like you're a man, like you're, a, you're a gentleman. Like, wow. Anyway, that's so sad. The girlies of 2020, the single women of 2024, we are genuinely suffering suffering because we literally are shocked and i'm not gonna sit here and say impressed i don't think it shocked and impressed are synonymous i'm saying i'm shocked that this man was behind me and asked to open the door for me because you don't see that very often nowadays these men be waiting for you to open the door and furthermore lay down for them so that they can walk on top of you as if you are the doormat that's what they want. Okay. <laughs> All right, ringing. That concludes today's video. I hope that you enjoyed. How are we feeling about the two hour vlogs being back? Maybe momentarily. I don't know. We'll see how this one performs and we'll go from there. But I will see you in the next one. I love you so much.